okay in the last class we discussed already about kurba and rmi and we discussed about the stub and skeleton so now we can understand about the ejb ejb advantages and disadvantages after that i will give the conclusion for web services ejb stands for enterprise java beans the ejb is a distributed api given by sun microsystem to develop distributed applications rmi is also a distributed api given by sun microsystem okay but rmi is having some drawbacks to overcome the drawbacks of an rmi only ejb is given by sun okay what are the drawbacks are there in rmi already we discussed uh, already we discussed about the drawbacks rmi server rmi server not providing any middleware services for business objects business objects so when we are working with rmi as a developer we can take the responsibility to provide the middleware services the middleware services like security transaction management connection pooling like these kind of middleware services required to be implement but as a developer implementing of middleware services will take will take more time and that are very 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 difficult to implement so more effort more effort is required to implement the middleware services so when we are working with rmi as a developer it is required to be concentrate to implement business logic as well as it is required to be concentrate to implement middleware services logic so to overcome that problems only ejb is given into the market when we are working with ejb just we can write one java class with the required business logic we can write the java class with the required business logic in order to expose this java class object as a distributed object we can deploy this java class object into the ejb container ejb container will expose your java class object as a distributed object over the network here the advantage of ejb container is the ejb container will provide the required middleware services for your java class object and ejb container is exposing over the network so when we are working with ejb as a developer just we are only concentrating to implement business logic as a developer we are not concentrating to implement middleware services because that are automatically configuring and providing by ejb container okay ejb container is providing by application servers application servers application servers example like jbas web logic these application servers are providing the ejb containers to execute the ejb application compulsory application server environment is required because application server only providing the ejb container okay so korba is supporting interoperability distributed applications development but korba server is commercial server korba is using ideal scripting language ideal scripting language is no by very less number of people in the market and a korba server is commercial that is very high expensive to overcome that problem rmi rmi server is open source server lightweight server by default coming with the jdk software but when we are working with rmi as a developer it is required to be concentrate to implement business logic as well as middleware services logic that is one problem next rmi is just exposing the distributed objects as a rmi is just exposing only language dependent objects as a distributed objects over the network so to overcome the problem of e rmi ejb is given ejb is also exposing only language dependent objects over the network that means with ejb whatever the object we are exposing over the network those objects only those objects only accessing by java applications only so like rmi ejb is also providing the communication between java language application to java language application only 
But comparing to RMI, EJB advantage is when we are working with EJB as a developer, only we are concentrating to implement business logic, we are not concentrating to implement middleware services logic because that are automatically configuring and providing by EJB container. But here these are the distributed APIs, these distributed APIs are given by Sun, these distributed APIs are having the problems. So, in order to overcome these distributed APIs problems only we are working with what web services. You know already web services are allows us to develop interoperable distributed applications. Web service is exposing language independent object over the network. So, when we are exposing one object with the web service, the object can be accessed by any language application on the network that is a major advantage of web service. Okay, who are given these web services? So, observe the web services are given by WSI, WSI stands for Web Services Interoperability Organization. Web services are given by WSI, WSI stands for Web Services Interoperability Organization. Web Services Interoperability Organization is a open community, it is a open community. In this community all the software company vendors are associated members. In this open community all the software company vendors are associated members including IBM and Microsoft also. So, WSI is given what actually? WSI is given web services specifications, web services specifications to develop the web services to consume the web services by using any programming language, any technology the web services specifications are given by WSI. Okay, WSI is given the web services specifications in the form of in the form of basic profile documents, in the form of basic profile documents. What are the versions of basic profile documents are there? Observe basic profile 1.0 version, basic profile 1.1 version, basic profile 1.2 version, basic profile 2.0 version. So, WSI is given all the web services specifications in the form of basic profile documents. What are the versions are there for basic profile documents? 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 2.0. These four versions are available for basic profile documents. Okay. By using these uh, basic profile document uh, specifications, by using this basic profile document specifications, all the programming languages, all the programming languages, all the technologies are designed their own APIs all the programming languages and all the technologies are designed their own APIs. Java, Java technology is given some APIs by following the basic profile document web services specifications. What are the APIs are given by Java technology? Now observe here, JAX RPC API, JAX RPC API, JAX WS API. JAX RS API, these APIs are given by the Sun, Sun Microsystem to design, to design web services in Java platform. These APIs are given by Sun Microsystem to design the web services in Java platform. Like Sun, .NET, PHP and other technologies also given their own APIs to design the web services. So, our focus is how to develop the web service, how to consume the web service in a Java platform that is our main focus. So, Sun Microsystem is given these three APIs to develop the web services here. One important point is total three APIs are given by Sun, but by using these three APIs how many types of web services are possible to develop. Now, observe here actually the WSI. WSI 
is given two types of web services WSI is given total two types of web services what are the two types of web services are given by WSI is one is SOAP based web services SOAP based web services another one is restful web services so, total how many types of web services are there? Two types of web services are there. Soap based web services and another one is what? Restful web services. Okay, to design these two types of web services, the Sun Microsystem is given three APIs. In these three APIs, JAX RPC and JAX WS, these two APIs are used to design soap based web services. These are used to design so based web services. Okay, JAX RS API is used to design restful web services. Restful web services. So, in our classroom, now we are going to be discussing about what so based web services, restful web services. How to develop the SOAP based web services by using JAX RPC, JAX WS and how to develop the RESTful web services by using JAX RS API that is actually we are learning here. But listen total what are the APIs are there for XML as well as for web services programming. Now understand total all the APIs related to XML and web services. JAXP API, JAXP API, JAXP stands for Java API for XML processing, JAXP stands for Java API for XML processing. This API we are using to work with the parser softwares like uh, DOM parser, SACS parser, Stacks parser. To work with those parsers, we are using this API. JAX B API, JAX B API, JAX B stands for Java Architecture for XML Binding, Java Architecture for XML Binding. This API we are using to convert XML format data into Java object, Java object data into XML format. So, this API only used for to convert Java object into XML format, XML into Java object. And JAXP, JAXB, these two APIs are possible in non web services environment also. JAXP, JAXB, both the APIs are possible to use in non web services environment also. Next to SAS. SAS stands for SOAP Attachment SOAP Attachment API for Java. One more is JAX M. JAX M. JAX M stands for Java API for XML messaging. Java API for XML messaging. What is the use of these two APIs? These two APIs are used to build the XML based messages. These two APIs are used to build the XML based messages. But here these two APIs are only possible to use with the web services environment only. JAXP, JAXP possible to use in non web services environment also. But SAS and JAXM both are possible to use in web services environment only. Next to JAX RPC, JAX RPC stands for Java API for XML Remote Procedure Call, Remote Procedure Call. You know JAX RPC is used to develop SOAP based web services. JAX WS, Java API for XML web services. XML web services. Okay, JAX WS is also used to develop SOAP based web services only. 
jacks or pc jacks ws two apis are used to develop soap based web services only actually jacks ws just it is a rename of jacks or pc jacks or pc 2.0 version jacks or pc 2.0 version renamed as jacks ws okay next jacks rs api jacks rs stands for java api for xml restful services restful services so jacks rs api is used to develop restful web services so these are the apis available in the market to work with what xml as well as web services jacks p jacks b saas jacks m jacks rpc and jacks ws plus jacks rs these are the apis available here okay so now understand here already what we discussed what is web service what is the difference between web service and web application and uh, what are the drawbacks are there in corba rmi ejb and what are the advantages are there in web services and to design the web services here what are the apis are there but here i am only highlighting about apis i am not highlighting about the implementations the implementations i will highlight in the web services classes okay so this is a just introduction of which one web services and with this introduction what you are understanding what is the main use of web service and total what are the apis are there so next we are going to be actually discussing about the xml after completing the xml again i will discuss about the web services web services apis as well as implementations okay in the next section i will discuss about the xml thank you